Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a second trimester pregnancy update because I have been keeping this channel primarily all about my nursing stuff, but as many of you know, I am pregnant. And so I've been doing a couple updates here and there about my pregnancy in relation to how it's affected me as a nurse. And um, I have more specific updates. If you're wanting to see like belly shots and like my more specific symptoms and updates on my appointments, you can go down below in the description box and I have a whole channel dedicated towards my pregnancy right now. So if you want to see that, go subscribe to that channel, check out those videos. But I wanted to do a second trimester update because I am 24 weeks. By the time this video is up, I don't even know, I'll probably be 25, 26, maybe 27 weeks, but 28 weeks is when you're in your third trimester. So I'm at the end of my second trimester. I feel confident enough to make this video um, now. Confident enough, that sounds silly, but like I feel like I'm well into my second trimester and I have definitely noticed some big changes when it comes to work. So I don't have any like restrictions at work. I've talked about this before like yes there's restrictions like with certain patients but as far as like the physicalness of being a nurse there's no restrictions for me right now. Obviously I'm being very careful and cautious when I lift and boost patients and turn and all that squatting up standing up or squatting up, squatting down, standing up. Um, but my shifts have just progressively as I've gotten further along have gotten more tiring. And I'm definitely noticing like a difference in my body by the end of the shift. Like my back is more achy. My feet are starting to swell. So I got compression socks and I've been wearing them to my shifts. I don't know if it's helping, but um, whatever. My feet aren't really swollen, but just enough to where I'm like, yeah, you can tell that I've been on my feet all day. Um, I'm still able to do most things at work. Um, I haven't been sick anymore as far as like nauseous and throwing up, things like that. So I'm thankful for that. Really, I've been feeling generally good. I just can tell I'm getting bigger. You know, sometimes the baby's sitting on my sciatic nerve or in a position where it's bothering my sciatic nerve and so that'll bother me every once in a while. Um, by the end of my shifts, the biggest thing I've noticed is my upper back is kind of bothering me which um, I'm just guessing it's probably from the weight in my belly is kind of pulling forward on my upper back and I'm still working out, I'm stretching and yada yada, but for whatever reason, my upper back, it feels like my spine is like compressed. I know that sounds weird, but like almost like I just need someone to like pull me, like take my arms and take my feet and like stretch me out. And so I've been looking into maybe going to a chiropractor, maybe going to get a massage, I don't know. Basically, just had my husband be my <laughs> massage person when I get home from work. Um, but I can't complain too much, honestly. I really plan to work up until I can't anymore. Um, if that means until she's born, awesome. If that means I need to stop sooner because of whatever reason, then so be it. But I plan on working up until I can't. I've started to look into my FMLA and my pregnancy leave and all that. And I'm still trying to decide 100% what I wanna do, so I don't wanna talk about it yet. But I have been looking into kind of how long I wanna take off of work. I can take up to 12 weeks off, um, and I'm not sure what I plan on doing just yet. Um, and maybe I'll share on here when I do, I don't know. Maybe my third trimester update, I'll have that on there. But um, my coworkers have been super supportive of me being pregnant. Um, they're very helpful. They're always like, do you need to get something to eat? Do you need something to drink? Um, I'm peeing a lot, so obviously I have to have them kind of, can you watch my patients really quick? I gotta run the bathroom again. So, um, other than that, I've been drinking lots and lots of water during my shifts because my resting heart rate is like in the 90s. And when I don't drink water, my heart rate will be chilling at like, 110, 115. I want to say when I don't drink water, when I don't drink enough water. So I'm drinking over a gallon of water a day to just try and like, one, keep me hydrated, keep baby hydrated, but like, just not like to prevent any complications from not drinking enough water during my shifts. I never really realized how much extra water you need while pregnant. I know it sounds silly, but like, you like, I never. Like if I didn't drink enough water, I may feel like kind of sluggish by the end of the day or have a headache or something like that. But I never noticed such a dramatic change like in my vital signs. Like my heart rate is just like goes so high and I don't feel winded. I don't feel like my heart's racing, but it just 
it is high. So I've been really cautious of that and making sure I can drink enough water throughout my shifts. <sighs> Other than that, I think that's all I have to update you guys on as far as work goes and how pregnancy is. If you want like specific, specific update details on my pregnancy, then go to my um, pregnancy personal channel that you'll see down below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.